glorious anointed day from the heart of Jerusalem. Blessing to everyone who, who listen this short word of encouragement for today. Yesterday I was in the north of Israel, visit the city of Nazareth to visit the pastor Sergio Bocharnikov, that his house was burned. It was really heavy to see how this pastor's uh, passing through a really difficult moment where had big damage in his house and because of the fire now they're investigating in the north of Israel because they have new level of the terrorism starting the lot of uh, terrorists they put fire in the forest around Jerusalem around the Galilee that's why we pray for protection because there's so much damage going all around we pray for God we protect every house every civilian every children every kindergarten every school every uh, government offices we pray for miracle protection amen and yesterday i also visit my very close friend uh, in haifa the pastor daniel matthias my very close friend for years we are together in one spirit we are discussing we're praying together how to really encourage the pastors how to be uh, going to the new level with a new opportunity new responsibility new new covenant you know new agreement what to do in this pandemic time how to raise up the church how to really be influenced to to our members in the church that's really yeah it's a not easy time yeah and i right now praying also for the people who is right now covid uh, um, in the hospital uh, in, in, in infected by this virus i pray for miracle healing power right now all around me there's uh, so many ambulance moving and i pray lord uh, people i speak life i speak life i proclaim no diseases no sicknesses but i speak life life with abundance with healing miracle power amen life we declare life remember every time you pray say i pray for life life with the savior jesus christ amen and we discuss how to really going forward because every day and every time when we're walking we listen in the news the word crisis everybody talk about crisis i don't know when you listen the word crisis because of pandemic time the many factories the economic situation crisis crisis and crisis and crisis you know i'm i'm tired to listen this word crisis i start to checking together with uh, with our pastor and we're discussing together about this what is the root of this word crisis you never think about this what is the root crisis really how, how we really try to understand it like 30 years ago we never hear about this crisis word this crisis it's uh, it's not common in the society for years ago now you so in you have some problem oh you're in crisis or you have uh, you lose your faith you in a crisis you know and i see that he bring light into every dark and discouraged situation as the world go through darkest hour pay attention darkest hour see you every present the savior the redeemer yeshua the messiah jesus christ walk on the stormy waters of tribulation toward your rescue from the harm, from struggles, from pain, from disappointed. In this timely season, brethren, we must really discover why you don't have the, to give and to panic, fear, scariness as you learn through what we need to help, really help to the society, help to our brethren in the, in the church, and leave unafraid. When you are conscious of his closeness and unfailing love for you, experience divine provision as you rest in your victorious position in Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ stay protected and feed filled as you feed on God's powerful anointing word during this time like whole world say crisis receive 
the miraculous, glorious blessing, protection in you need when you invite the King of Glory into every difficult situation. I hope you're understanding what I speak to you right now. In this hardship situation, where you're really entering to the new season, God is equipping you and preparing you. A man preparing you. Pay attention to this. It's a power and we go into the new agreement with Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I see the crisis is in the old time is judgment of God. That's a very hard word. That's meaning every time you hear the crisis is the judgment. It's, it's easy to say, but look at this situation. Why so many people, innocent people died? It's a judgment. We are not paying attention sometimes what's going on right now in the world. People not pleasing God anymore. They're not appreciation for God anymore. But I don't know of many believers, followers of Christ, Christians, who have not at the same time have crisis point and they walk with God. How we respond to such a crisis in many ways determinate our future maturity as believers, followers of Christ. Certainly, the fact, my brethren, that there is today some who really knew the Lord Jesus Christ and walk away from the relationship with Him. I know many people that say, I know the Lord. Or oh, they're serving God for so many years and they are really walk away you never dream how this person would be backslider can be directly related to their failure of properly responding to crisis of their faith in god if all those who have walked away were to come back to the lord there are many not be empty set in our churches this is issue of responding properly to crisis of faith okay i now talking about crisis of faith because it's the word crisis is judgment it's a time that god sometimes puts some really crisis in the situation to wake up us and bring us close to him in totally different level to we be back to him with expectation and with fear of the Lord. Brethren, there are many outside the church today. Because of it, there are many with the church who has really personal growth with God because of, that, uh, of this. And they're growing personally. Personally, this is very important you grow personally. You know, because you and God, that's why I every day walk, I must recharge my faith in Him. I must grow in Him more, more, more. I'm hungry for Him. I want you also to be hungry. Yeah? So many people, they have lost the kind of joy and zeal the ones had to serving God and they cannot see to the, pump, the point when that happened. For many it, it come really to back crisis time in their walk with God when they are reach a place of desperation and left God was not there or did not provide and so they hold that against him, even unknowingly. Brethren, servants of God, God is preparing us. When we see the root of causes with our heart of crisis of faith, we can see this is the life we live of five great men of God in the Old Testament, man would did seem of greatest ex explosion or our expectation or greatness of uh, uh, 
see things, they see the really, the touch of God. Man would did some of the great explosion that have ever been done in the name of God. These are the men we have read about every time we study the word of the living. Living the full felt that we call never match up and the walk with God. Yet, man will reach such great crisis point in their walk with God, they are ask God to kill them or ask God that they had ever been born. Moses was the first of this man, recorded in the Numbers chapter 11, 14 to 15. Pay attention now. This job is too much for me. If this is the way you're going to treat me, just kill me now and end my miserable life. Miserable life. How could such successful leader like Moses ever come to place when he failed? He could not go on. The crisis come out of deep citizens of insecurity and you lose your really security with God and you open to the fear and stress this spirit of insecurity start to insecurity start to really damage your soul Moses failed he was not up to task God had called him to do we see Elijah was the second of this great man of God, as we see in the first Kings chapter 19, 3 to 4. Elijah was afraid when he got her message. He walked and all day into the desert. He begged the Lord, I have not enough. Just let me die. I'm not better off than my ancestors. Here, Elijah, the man through whom God performed the miracles, asked God to take his life. Are you, I hope you understand what I speak to you today. Or to like, like this strange paradox, brethren. The man of power was now in this crisis time filled with fear afraid of Jezebel and feeling like that was all alone with no one who believed like him wow it's a strong brethren Job was third of these heroes of faith that we find in Job chapter 3, 11. Why did I die in birth? I hope you're understanding what I speak to you. Here we find in Job chapter 3, 11. Why didn't I die in the birth? Here we find a prosperous and resp respected Job asking God why he had ever even been born disaster that have come upon job because such suffering job reached dramatic crisis in his walk with god jeremiah was the four man of god very hard in jeremiah life jeremiah was the the fourth man was faith what tested, really tested. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 14. It's very strong. Put curse on the day I was born. Don't bless my mother. Jeremiah felt such outward shame. Shame that what he had prophesied has not come to pass. This brought about crisis of faith. Crisis of faith 
for Jeremiah in his disappointed with God for not doing as he had promised. Wow. Finally, we go into the fifth servant of living God that come to place of crisis with God was Jonah. In Jonah chapter 4, verse 3. Now let me die and I'll be better off dead. Jonah had no wanted to preach repentance to the people of Nineveh because they will repent and God will spare them. This is exactly what happened and Jonah come to crisis. Point because of his pride, selfishness, and wanting he will more than God's will. All five of these men ultimately chose not to abandon their faith in God. They were able to have a crisis of faith and not lose their faith. Are you with me now? Not lose their faith. They did by recognize the really glorious truth. They did this. God has plan. His plan may be not be our plan. Or we may not understand it, but God Almighty is still totally in control. In every case, God work out His purposes. Even this man cannot see it. Whatever is fear and insecurity, disappointed, suffering or pride, and only by trusting God, his ultimate plan, can you overcome your crisis of faith. In each situation, my precious brothers and sisters all around the world, in every situation, ultimately provided answer, proving his complete faithfulness. This cause is simply way too high to sacrifice all the benefits of your faith over temporary crisis. Hallelujah. Can we pray right now? Glorious King, majestic. We know now, we understand, we learn today, crisis is judgment. Judgment comes from God. To God want to wake up us to bring us back to Him. But in time of crisis coming in our faith, it is a time to reconnect it to God Almighty, to come closer to the Savior Jesus Christ, to be close to His heart, to His will, to His purpose in these days. Lord, I know the crisis where I am right now, who listen to me, maybe you are in really hardship situation, insecurity, struggles, economic situation, decision in the family, some of them in the way to divorce. You in the crisis, God say, I will wake up you and this crisis come to, you be passed through the test to victory. In Hebrew, Nitzachon, eternal victory. And I pray for every one of you to understand this message of these 20 minutes. Could God Almighty be wake up you, equipping you, preparing you for the great harvest season as the time to raise up from all the disappointed, selfishness, and everything what you see with your physical eyes, God say, it's nothing of me. I want to put your spiritual level, spiritual authority, God said, I give you to enter to the spiritual authority, spiritual dimension, spiritual level. You start to see where you are right now in this situation. 
He's equipping and preparing you to you grow in Him. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Yes and Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord God to turn His face toward you and give you everlasting peace because He is the Prince of Peace, the Savior and Redeemer, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Yes and Amen. With you today, Pastor Danny Rosen from the heart of Jerusalem.